In 2 Chronicles 15, verse 8, it says, He took courage. Well, how do you take courage? Well, the same way that you take defeatism. The same way that you would take positivity. You reach out in consciousness and hold on to it and you don't let go. You allow it to define you, to become you. You take courage and you begin again. There are all sorts of tales of heroes and there are accounts of brave deeds of these heroes. There are songs and movies that we see that stir and thrill us with the courage and the strength of the human race. All of us are faced at times with circumstances that tempt us to give in and give up. And we do not hold on to this. Even though in the moment we take giving in, we take giving up, we have a great capacity to let go of that and grab on to what we do want, the courage to begin again. To meet life in a fearless way and with victory for beginning again. People meet and overcome all kinds of circumstances in their lives, conditions that would have destroyed them at a certain point of their life. Whether it is sickness, bereavement, failure, lack, limitation. Everyone who chooses to meet life challenges, rather than to be drowned by life challenges, inspires and encourages not only themselves, but also others. Anyone who needs strength and courage Anyone who needs to begin again, and in every life there are times when one must begin again, we say, praise God. You are strong enough. You are wise enough. You are able enough to begin again. You are loved enough. You are appreciated enough. You're understood enough. To begin again. You begin now to be what you are meant to be, God's perfect child. And God bless you.